Hey guys, this is Katie here with Life in the Mundane and I'm really excited to talk to you guys today about my homeschool emergency box. So we spend, it's back to school season, we spend a lot of time planning and preparing for our homeschool year. We're making lesson plans, organizing our homeschool room, you name it. But we are oftentimes only planning for the best case scenario. We are planning for the best days when the kids are cooperating and mom's patience is perfect and oftentimes things happen and things don't go planned the way we thought they would. So that's why I have started making, uh, preparing for those not so great days and put together a little box that I want to share with you. So let's get started. So what kind of emergencies am I talking about? It could most definitely be sort of what you're thinking of more of like a medical emergency, for instance, in our family. Um, my One of my daughters, my middle daughter, has a lot of health issues. So we um, have regularly throughout our homeschool um, time, we've had to take a break or um, whatnot for a surgery or maybe to make a three hour drive to a doctor's appointment. Um, so there's definitely emergencies like that, but there's also typical emergencies that you may not think of. Mom being sick, maybe kids being sick, some of the kids being sick, just having a super crazy week, um, being out of town, visiting family, whatever it might be. There are lots of different types of things that can kind of disrupt our homeschool flow. And so I like to have this box all ready to go before the school year even starts. So when those days hit, and it could just be an off day, it could just be the kids are not cooperating, they're not really feeling it, maybe you're frustrated, you're tired, whatever reason it is, it is great to have a backup plan for those days that are just not going according to your plans. So let's jump in. I want to show you guys what's in my box. Um, how you can make your own and again like always feel free to tweak this make it your own um, But take these ideas and hopefully this will so here help. it is my homeschool emergency box This is just a box that you can get at Walmart office depot whatnot. It is a um, a File folder box basically um, and We can just pop it open and see what's inside it with activities um, that we can do that the kids can do primarily independently but um, if it does need mom it's pretty minimal effort um, so first thing is in my files I have got um, some of these Usborne wipe and clean books um, they've got great ones for older kids starting grammar and punctuation so they have to practice what is the proper um, punctuation to go in what place I've got younger ones that are younger for my younger ones, ready for writing, um, kind of works on that. They're dry erase, they're reusable, I love them, we take them on trips. I actually have a whole set of them that we use on the school shelf for when kids need some independent work or some practice, but these are great to have in your emergency box because they'll require um, not a lot of work on your part, um, but the kids can still be learning. I also have some of these preschool activity workbooks um, for my youngest daughter who's in kindergarten. I have some kindergarten workbooks in here too. Um, I, this is a great time um, with back to school season. There are a lot of um, places, Aldi's, Walmart, whatnot, that, um, that have um, sales on workbooks, so it's a great time to get that. Um, I also have some file folder games. I got these actually um, from a garage sale from a teacher who had put these together. But like this one, for instance, is like how much money are the different items. They've got a price. And then in here are pieces with different amounts of money that they just have to match up the correct amount of money with the picture in Velcro. So a great way to practice their money skills. Um, so file folder games. I've got some sorting ones in here practicing odds and evens, whatnot, you can find, um, there's some great uh, books if you want for file folder games. I also have printed out here some worksheets the kids can do on their own, okay? And a lot of these are Evan Moore. I highly recommend his um, books. If you're not familiar with them, let me show you one that I have here. Okay, um, this is Draw and Write book. Um, and the way these work, they've got them for all different subjects and types, but like here they give them a prompt of how to draw a puppy. Then they're gonna copy the word puppy, and then they're gonna fill in these blanks. This puppy does what? And they can pick from these words here. Um, and does this, it wants this, 
Sometimes it blanks holes in the arts. So they've got to find words that make sense, copy them, or they can come up with their own. Then they've got, you can expound further, um, and you can answer questions about who and what, did what, where, and so on and so forth about the puppy, and then they can write their own story. By the end of it, they can write their own story about the puppy. This is a great, easy, supplemental thing to have on hand. It's fun because they get to draw pictures. My kids are all about doing pictures. Um, they've got so many different other kinds, how to write a story, writing super sentences. Um, and the nice thing about the Evan Moore books is they are reproducible. So you can buy one copy. The copies are really cheap, um, usually in the 5 to $7 range for a book. Um, sometimes you can find it cheaper at sales. Um, and then you can photocopy for each of your kids. So I have some photocopies already done in here. I also have these. These are something that I created, and it's just encouragement for the rough moments. And it's just a list of Bible verses um, that I find encouraging when I'm just having a rough day. Because I'll be honest, a lot of the times when we have emergency days, days that don't go so well, it's because mom's attitude is not so well. And so having these cards here um, with these memory verses and being able to get my mind in the right space really, really, really helps on those rough days. I also have a little bag of chocolate that is definitely not for the kids, but it's for mom for emergencies. It's amazing what a little scripture, prayer, and some chocolate will do for your day. I've also got back here, I've got a, a CD case, and inside I have um, educational CDs. Some have songs that are educational. Um, one thing we also like to use is this um, Your Story Hour. A friend of mine introduced me to it, and we're really enjoying it. Um, they've got ones on different historical figures, and it just talks about... Um, it's, this, it's, very, it's story form, like it says, and uh, it goes through these different stories. There's tons of these in this series. Um, so these are great for those days when you just do not have it in you. You can pop this in. Your kids can still learn amazing stuff about history um, and keep the day going. I've also got in there some Magic School Bus DVDs. Um, we've got... Um, it's zipped. But we've got uh, Magic School Bus DVDs. We have um, different leapfrog movies in there that are great for sometimes you just have to do the TV. I also have these Esborn Famous Painting, um, and it's just a card on a painter, and it gives you some fun facts. Also along those lines, you're probably familiar with the Come Look With Me series. And what I love about this series is that... Um, it's got, how to use this book so to explain it, but it's got a picture and then it's got a list of discussion questions to talk to your kids about and a little bit of history or background about the picture itself, telling you about the author and the picture. And I just love these books for introducing your kids to art. We don't always get to them, so it's a great thing to do on those days when other things are not getting done. I also have in here some board games that, small board games that practice different math facts, addition, subtraction, or spelling. Um, and yeah, here's another one. These I got from Scholastic's books, um, but you can get them. I would also highly recommend a deck of cards because that's a fantastic, there's lots of fun educational games you can do with that. Um, so yeah, so that's just what's in my homeschool box. You can definitely mix and match, put in what's helpful to you. Um, I also have a list in here, which I can post um, below, but I have a list in here of other activities that are not in this box. So it might be go for a nature walk, take a trip to the library. Sometimes a change of scenery is all your kids need to get refocused and back on track. Um, it can be cooking in the kitchen with your kids. Um, again, those kinds of things. Uh, definitely read alouds. It's always awesome um, when you're just not feeling up to doing much, maybe um, to just sit down and read with your kids. So they can learn a lot that way still. So lots of fun things to do. Um, whether you need this box for the whole day, think of it like your substitute lesson plans is what I think. Um, think about it for those days when you just need to call in a sub. This is gonna be your box. The kids are not allowed to get into this box except on those days when we need it. Um, so these are all fun and new and exciting things that they don't have access to all the time. So they look forward to it. Um, but keep that list of things that you can do on those rough days and have that handy for you and just know that it's there if you need it. Um, I will post uh, on our Facebook page, so if you're not following our page, be sure to do that. We'll post on my Facebook page um, the, the um, PDF 
of those memory verse cards so you can print out too as well. Um, I just think that's really handy to have um, to remind us to refocus and, uh, and whatnot. And I also will post the link to a lot of these products, to the Your Story Hour, to the Evan Moore books, um, the Usborne books that we have here. Um, and hopefully this will be of help to you guys um, and help you guys have a backup plan for those days when the lesson plans are just not working. So I hope you guys have a great day um, and I will talk to you next week. We post videos every Saturday. Um, so be sure to subscribe to the page, like us on Facebook, and that way you don't miss out on any of the good stuff. We I post videos on everything from parenting, homeschooling, um, home management, and um, things to simplify your life and make the most of the little moments. Talk to you guys later. Bye.